Hey everybody, um, I haven't posted in a while, but obviously with everything that's gone down over the last 24 hours on YouTube, I kind of have something to say. And of course, this is about Logan Paul and his video um, that he posted about being in the suicide forest in Japan and coming across somebody who had committed suicide. And his choice was to film it and people are understandably upset. Why? Because the bulk of Logan's subscribers are kids. They are impressionable, stupid kids that don't know better. And his immaturity in the situation is evident. He was laughing and mocking the situation and instead of putting the camera down and res or respectively respectably moving away and having the conversation he decided to film up close and personal with the dead body and um he made it his thumbnail for YouTube and i guess my question is when did this become okay content. Um, there are videos on YouTube of dead bodies, that's for sure. But I think the difference is in the taste level. There are people like Josh the Explorer who has happened across bodies or is doing um, almost like a documentary and um, comes across something and is entirely respectful, 100% respectful. Um, and I think that's the difference. And the problem is that he has millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of followers who idolize this guy. They idolize him. And I mean, I'm, I was a Logan Paul subscriber, not particularly because I liked him as a person, but some of his content was entertaining and I find him less obnoxious than Jake, but, um, I think that shows an intense immaturity and a lack of morality and a lack of compassion for somebody else. Um, people that are known to go to the suicide forest are in their darkest moments, completely distraught, depressed, and they go there with the intent of ending their life because it's the last resort for them. And for him to go and film this guy I just have to shake my head at him. When is YouTube going to put a stop to this kind of content? I get it. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, PewDiePie, they all make YouTube a ton of money. I can't even imagine the revenue that comes in from these guys' videos. But at what cost? And when is enough enough?